students and a very warm welcome to sort of search classes today's tutorial will be on advanced statistics we will be solving or answering some mcqs multiple choice question in order to have access to the entire solution set you can contact us on 9836793076 and for any further details you can check in our website which is www.sorofsirclasses.com let us read the first question the question reads as a random sample of the height of 100 students from a large population of student from standard deviation as this shows an average height of this What are the ninety-five percent confidence limit for the average height of all students forming the population? So here we have the standard deviation to be zero point three five, whereas x bar or the average height is given as one point seven five. Okay. now z alpha is equal to 1.96 okay then the standard error of x bar will be standard deviation under root by n and this will be 0.35 under root and it is given n value is 100 students so under root 100 this will give us a value of 0.035 now the confidence limit is given by so confidence limit is equal to x bar plus minus z alpha into s e x bar okay so this will be 175 okay 1.75 x bar plus minus we have received this value to be so plus minus this value to be 0.35 into 1.96 let me make the alteration it will be 0.035 so we will get a value that will be so this will be so 1.75 and this will be plus minus 0.0686 and ultimately we will get the value to be 1.68 it will be this if it is minus or it will be 1.82 meter so this will be the answer so if we compare it the val if we compare the value we have computed with all other options then we can clearly say that a is a is a perfect match to the answer which we have obtained now the next question is if it is known that the 95% of lcl and ucl lower confidence limit and upper confidence limit to population mean are this and this respectively what is the value of population variance when the sample size is 100 let's do this so we have mu minus standard error x bar z alpha is equal to 48.04 this implies that mu minus standard error x bar into 1.96 is equal to 48.04 or mu plus standard error x bar by z alpha is equal to 
51.96 okay so or we can rewrite this as this one also mu plus standard error of x bar into 1.96 is equal to 51.96 so subtracting we get two standard error x bar into 1.96 is equal to 3.92 then so standard error x bar is equal to 3.92 by 2 into 1.96 the denominator numerator will become the same the answer we will get is 1 but okay but standard error x bar is equals to standard deviation under root n is equal to 1 or we can say standard deviation under root 100 is equal to 1 or standard deviation is equal to 10 so the answer will be 10 which is option number b So I hope this short tutorial on advanced statistics was helpful if it was please hit the like button subscribe to our channel share our videos and thank you so much for watching